Hey, Poetry students, it's your instructor, Cody Miller. I'm here with a quick uh, review of last week and the poetry that we did, as well as what to expect in the next week uh, and what you really need to prepare for. So um, this last week, we really spent time discussing uh, narrative poetry and then nature poetry. And the week before that, we discussed ekphrastic poetry. Uh, so really what we did uh, on la or in last class period was talk about some assignments that are coming up, including the workshops, as well as the reader response, and then uh, we talked about uh, the three main poems that you can choose or the three types of poems that you can choose to write between which are the ones that I just mentioned the narrative the nature and the acrastic and so your acrastic poetry is the description of art poetry narratives focus on some type of story with a conflict and uh, characters and then nature poetry we're still working on and as we'll remember next week uh, we'll continue to work on that especially on the first day so that would be Monday for us where we plan to go out and visit the library or not the library actually completely opposite of inside a building we're going to be outside on the trails weather permitting uh, so please uh, dress accordingly in terms of we're not going to do tons of walking but we are going to get out in the woods for uh, for a little bit so if you need a coat bring a coat make sure you're wearing some uh, suitable suit shoes for being outside uh, a little bit however if the weather is not permitting please note that we will not go out for instance if it's raining or it's extremely cold, uh, we won't go out, okay? So I wanna share my screen with you here so that you understand what I'm talking about when I'm referring to some of these things. So if we go into our Moodle page, you'll remember that we talked about the schedule that's posted. You've got some readings coming up for next week. So the schedule's right here under the revised area uh, where it says spring 20 uh, English 263 schedule, uh, 3330 revised pull it up here momentarily. We'll scroll down to week nine, which is what we're going into. And uh, week nine, we're going to continue to do some writing in nature. We've got some reading uh, that you need to do uh, online. Reader response four does come due for us uh, at that point uh, in the um, Moodle page, so I'll show us where that's at. And then I am asking you to review some pages in your textbook, uh, which is this right here. You grab it, right? So review this in your textbook, uh, these pages 80, 85 through 103. And then you'll notice that on Wednesday for us, we're no longer really focusing on writing about a particular, um, uh, you know, either acrastic nature or narrative. Instead, we're focusing on drafting, peer review, and getting ready for what's coming due, which is that first draft of the workshop poem, which will come due on Wednesday. And then group three, you will post in the forums for us by 11.59 on Wednesday. And so I'll show you all that stuff on Moodle as well. So if we scroll down into the smaller area, the smaller homework assignments, we look further down, you'll see reader response is posted right here. This is due for us Monday, March 9th at 2.20. The guidelines are listed right here uh, where it says the word here, as well as up above. So make sure that you're following those. Keep that momentum moving from when we had that conversation. It looks like we had quite a few more posts in our reading response three. So let's keep that going for reader response four, okay? Where uh, we're going to uh, get into the workshops is going to be right here, okay? So that's where you'll post, but that's not until Wednesday for group three. And you'll notice that the order in which we're posting uh, is flipped around, uh, not the groups. The groups are still the same. But in this case, what we're actually looking for, um, it will be uh, getting group three to go a little earlier uh, in the selection, all right? And then we also have that assignment that's coming due for us on Wednesday, which is the first draft of the second workshop home. So it needs to be one of those three that we've been talking about throughout this unit. Um, let's see here, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, we had journal four come due for us on Wednesday, so I'll try to get that graded as quickly as possible. And then week five, uh, or the next week, I'll have journal five posted for us so we can go from there. All right. Uh, if you have any questions in between now and next class period, please, of course, feel free to email me. Uh, stay warm over the weekend. I think it's supposed to be pretty nice on Sunday. Uh, but perhaps most importantly, enjoy some poetry and stay brilliant.